Hi there students, so today we are going to be looking at a VLOOKUP and an HLOOKUP and basically these two functions are basically work the same way. The only difference is basically where your data is basically coming from. So for example, in a VLOOKUP, your data is coming from the columns, okay? And in an HLOOKUP, your data that you are returning is going to be from the rows. So if I take a look at the table I want to draw information from, so for example, this of course is a bookshop, we want to basically match the word paperback to the word paperback here and return the price. Similarly, bestseller with the word bestseller here and return the price. So if you look at the way a table is structured, in other words, if you have your categories on your left and the data you want to return on the right, you would usually use a VLOOKUP. Okay, your VLOOKUP is made up of basically four parts. The value that you are looking up in your table array is basically your lookup value. So for example, in this case, C8, which has the word paperback, is going to be searched for in this table. So our table array is in this scenario a2 to b4 so once we've put down a2 to b4 we're going to just add absolute values so that we can drag this function down so we got a2 to b4 and now the column index number is basically what you want returned so in this table array there are two columns column A and column B. When we find the word paperback in column A, we want to return what's in column B, in other words, the second column. So we put two. Paperback has to work, match the word paperback exactly. Because it has to be an exact match, we use false. We usually use true when we look at numeric values and if they are approximates. So paperback has to match paperback exactly, and you would get the price, ideally. And if I drag it all the way down, I'd get the price for the other two as well. So that's a VLOOKUP. So remember how this table is structured, because that's pretty important when figuring out whether something's a VLOOKUP or an HLOOKUP. If I go to my next sheet, the way this table is structured already indicates that it's an HLOOKUP because you got your categories on the top and you got your values at the bottom. So for this scenario, we want to work out the commission. So we basically have to find out the percentage and multiply it by total sales. We find the percentage by using an HLOOKUP. So quite simply, what we would do is we would go equal to HLOOKUP and again you've got your same four categories so your lookup value in this case is the salesperson name which is Doug in A5 your table array is the table on the top here which is A1 to D2 which I'm going to make an absolute value once we've done that we don't want to return the first row so the We'll notice in this table array, there are one, two rows. We want to find Doug and return the value in the second row, which is the commission. So we put two. And Doug has to match Doug exactly. Sam has to match Sam exactly. So we use false. And of course, because we want to work out the commission, we have to multiply the percentage by total sales. So we multiply it by B5. And I can drag it all the way down to get all the other answers. So I hope this has helped you understand lookups in some way.